Welcome back to the realistic TRC1008 semi toy hand portable. Now we've got to receive, we're on channel, it's, it's single channel set, it's channel 30, which is channel 27 decimal 89125. The signal generator at the moment is on one microvolt and it is still receiving. Now these kind of sets, you know, they're not going to have the best receivers in the world, of course they're not. And if I turn this test set to point 0.3. There's not a lot there. So we'll go back to one microvolts and see if we can tune anything up from there. Now I've got T1, T6, T2. And T3. Now one of these may be frequency adjust. And my copy of this manual is so poor. Because it's a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. That um, this could could cause us a bit of a of a snag, and as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at the um, yes, it could be that. Let's put my glasses on. It could be that T6 adjusts the frequency. It's hard to tell. We'll see if it's on frequency with a. Um, I'm going to have to inject a signal, uh, an IF signal of 455 kilohertz, which is going to be a bit of a pain, but we will. So, according to what I have worked out here, transformer 1 is the first receive adjustment. That certainly seems to be true. And then we should move on to transformer 6, I think. And then we'll move on to transformer two. And then finally on to transformer three. And I don't know if, I don't think there is a detector on these. I'll just um, I'll just double check. Oh that is yes, it's the detector that one. Yes, I've put a 100 microvolt signal in. I'll just zoom out so you can see what I'm, I'm doing. The yellow one here, which is T3, right at the bottom of the set, is the detector. So we've set that up with 100 microvolts of signal. I'll just turn the volume down. Go back to one microvolt. And that seems to me as good as we're going to get it on receive. And it it starts to drop off at half a microvolt. That's not bad, is it, for considering that's point three of a microvolt. I think we've not far off lost the signal at point three, so just about half a microvolt, but it's uh, probably only usable really just below one. Now I'm just going to get my 455 kilohertz signal generator out to make sure it's somewhere like on frequency. So I'll just pause the video. Restarting the video now, we'll t I've turned the tone off from the signal generator. I put the 455 kilohertz signal generator, which is a marker oscillator, on. And if we put the, it's just dropping off the uh, speaker there. Um, if I put the wire here from the 455 kilohertz generator near the radio, we've got that rumble. And to tell us, to be honest, that tells us it's from frequency. From the way it looks, it looks like there's no adjustment for receive, which is fair enough. And in this case, the radio is on frequency and that just proves it so I'll just do a final check that the receiver is as good as we can get it
I think I've just gained a bit more there. Backing off the signal generator. Yep, that's not bad at all. It's best. It's better than 0.5 of microvolt, which, considering it's a single conversion receiver, um, that's pretty good going. Right, I'll just consult the manual again. Pause the video. Right, so that is the kind of conclusion so far. So. There is squelch built into the chip here, but it doesn't look like they implement it in this particular design. So there's no preset for squelch. So it's one of these sets that just sits there hissing at you, like its predecessor, the 1006. And that's, sorry, 1005. No, 1006, I'll get it right eventually. And the, and the other one, which is the 1003. So... Well, I'm going to put this back together and then we'll just go through and I'll put that loading coil back and then we'll just go through setting up the um, rod antenna. Okay, setting up the rod antenna on these uh, radios. I've put coil 6 back in, which is the loading coil for the rod antenna. And I've put the printed circuit board back in place. There's a hole through the printed circuit board to get your trimming tool into the um, adjustment underneath. So that's well thought out. So what I've set up is a cheap little um, field strength meter here on the bench and I'm going to go put the radio into transmit and you can see there's a slight deflection there on the meter and what I'm going to do is adjust L6 for maximum deflection. I think that's about where we should be on that. Now it goes without saying that uh, the telescopic aerial on these type of air radios is absolutely vital to the SWR and of course it has to be fully extended otherwise you end up blowing the output transistors which would actually render something like this irreparable. Uh, I've just been measuring the antenna because sometimes these can turn up broken now, with these being the age they are now, and Tandy's having been bought up by a car phone warehouse years ago, um, you're limited as to where you're going to get parts. Now, I've measured this aerial, and from the tip of the aerial down to what's inside the set, which is to about there, you're looking at 26 inches or 650 millimeter. So, those of you who have ended up buying a set like this, and it's got a knackered aerial, they are the measurements 26 inches or 650 millimeter. If you get the aerial wrong the radio will be destroyed when you've used it in transmit. So there you go. And that concludes the realistic TRC 1008 single channel FM UK hand portable operating on channel 30.